Welcome, Namita. Thank you, Matthew. Nice that you are here. Um, how was your trip to Amsterdam? It was like a quite long trip, right? Yes, actually, in this trip I came from uh, California, so oh, really? it, it is uh, some, a long way off. But I live in Singapore and India, oh. but I'd gone to California for some work, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it was a long trip, but I am so looking forward to it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. That's so nice. Thanks for being <laughs> here. Um, have you ever been in the Netherlands before, or is it just your first time here? I came here a long, long time back. Um, so this was many, many years back. So but this probably could count as my first time. Okay. And do you like the Netherlands for so far? Or don't you have seen like a lot? Or do you have to discover the city? Or Oh, I love it. I, I managed to come here on a Friday night and uh, oh. uh, have been moving around Saturday and Sunday. It is just... Absolutely gorgeous, yeah. You, okay. you, you have a you. beautiful, beautiful <laughs> city. I've just seen Amsterdam, so I'm sure the rest of uh, Netherlands would be so gorgeous as well. Okay, thank you for the compliment yes. and nice that you like it here. Um, what is like the biggest thing in your whole career that you say, I'm really proud of that and especially that? Or is it a hard question? No, it's not. Actually, you know, it's, it's funny you ask that because I was a career banker. Yeah. Uh, till 2019, banking wow. was my major major job. I had been a banker for, I shouldn't say it, but 30 years. Yeah. Uh, and I worked all over the world. Okay. And somewhere in 2015, I reconnected to what was my first passion, my first love, uh, acting. Um, yeah. So I started doing theatre in Singapore and uh, got an opportunity to do a film in India in uh, 2018 and uh, never looked back after that. I quit my job uh, <laughs> um, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a fairly senior level and just jumped into what is my, my you know, totally my passion, my, my, my life, my soul. And uh, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, till date in the last three, four years, I've done 10 feature films. And the wow. Before Life After Death, which is, uh, is one of my biggest productions, uh, I'm extremely proud of the journey the film has had. Uh, the theme of the film and the journey that it has had is, uh, is something that makes all of us very proud. So yes, so from banking to acting and uh, yeah. to be here, uh, this makes my belief stronger uh, oh, that's so to my, that I made the right choice. So, yeah. okay. I'm happy that you quit your job at, um, as a banker and started acting because I think you're just a good actress. I saw a little part and... Oh, you did? You yeah, did? Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. So thank I think you. it's a good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you. That makes me very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're here because you're nominated for Best Asian Actress. Um, how does it make you feel? Like, are you really happy, excited or maybe surprised or... You wouldn't believe it, Matthew, but when I first saw the email from Yan, yeah. Jan, how do I pronounce his name? Uh, Jan, Septimius. Jan, uh, Sept Septimius. Excellent. No, the, the director, the founder. Um, the founder, Jan. Jan, Jan, Jan. Yeah, so I just wanted to get his name right. So Jan <laughs> sent an email to me, the director and the writer, to say that, uh, you know, we've seen Namita Lal's work exactly. and she's been nominated for Best Actress. And I was in London when I got that email. I oh. can't forget the date, 4th of August. And I oh. got up in the morning and I saw it and I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was just jet lagged. <laughs> and, uh, this this couldn't be happening. Yeah. And uh, strangely, I was I started crying. Um, oh. And then I called up my director and the writer, and uh, you know we all cried together. We then went out for a champagne lunch, and so yeah, if if that gives you a sense of the the joy, the pride, the okay. the emotions, uh, to be to be uh, you know to to have a validation of a film that that you do uh, with your, your heart and your soul. Um, because the team came together during COVID, but just after the first lockdown to make this okay, film in yeah. Singapore um, with a, sing uh, 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 a lot of diverse talent in Singapore. So we had many, many nationalities as part of the team. The government gave us permission oh, perfect, uh, yeah. to shoot in multiple locations. It's a very intense story. We got, uh, you know, we got financing, and so it, it just, it felt when we saw the, to answer your question again, because <laughs> it makes me so overwhelming. It was so oh. overwhelming uh, when we saw that email, and then the events that followed um, was just so, it was so heartwarming, and uh, 
So thank you again, Septimus. No problem. Yes. Um, as you said, um, was it hard to film in a city like Singapore? Because I know there are a lot of rules in Singapore, right? Was it hard to get these locations for the movie or was the government like really easy to give you the permits? Or? It was actually, it came as a surprise to us. It was, mm -hmm. especially because it was after the first lockdown, it was yeah. very easy in the sense that every agency we went to for location approval just gave us not only gave us the location, welcomed us. We had the Singapore police sometimes walking around checking because we did have a lot of rules and regulations about COVID. Yeah. So masks and tests and va vaccination proof, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But they would come and say, "Is everything okay? Do you guys need any help?" Um, yeah. We shot in an area in Singapore. If you've seen the film, because it's about two different social classes, so we fought in an, we saw, uh, shot in an area which has got what's called the Housing Development Board which is the kind of the slightly lower social order in Singapore. Yeah. And uh, there people were giving us water during the shoot, asking us if we wanted to eat, in, you know, had wanted some food. So it was, it, was a, it was a revelation how wonderful it was to shoot in Singapore, even though it was a very, very tough time. And yeah. It was a big production unit as well. So... Uh, and how the people of Singapore came together to support us. And then the Singapore International Film Festival selected us wow. in the Singapore yeah. Panorama um, last December. And Did you want something there? No, we didn't, but we were okay. just showcased in, the, in one yeah. of the biggest sections of the Singapore International Film Festival, which was happening after two years, and so it was very grand. Oh, that's nice. And yeah. uh, then we got really very fortunate. Netflix uh, took us uh, for their release in Asia and Australia and across China, India. So really had a great journey, this film. Um, I have perfect. to be very, very fortunate how this film has had a great journey. So Singapore, again, to answer your question, is a, is a, was a dream to shoot in. And I think it is for filmmakers. Yeah, I think, because the city is like, if you compare it to the world, I think one of the most beautiful cities in the whole world with the um, buildings and the, yeah, I don't know. It's just a beautiful city to yes, shoot. Yes, it is, yeah. it is. And, it, it, and even from a budget perspective, people think it's very expensive, but it uh, yeah, really... Yeah, I thought it, so. It yeah. wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too too bad because again, the we had a lot of local actors, local mm -hmm. talent, uh, people. There's a Lazal school of uh, drama and arts and films, so we had a lot of talent from there. So uh, it just all came together quite nicely. Okay, nice. Thanks. Um, is your work also stressful? Like, is it, if it um, is it giving you a lot of stress during filming or acting? So I wouldn't call it stress. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't call it challenging. It's something else. It's it. I think the passion drives the the your ability to deal with any uh, stress and challenge. Uh, very different from the corporate world where you you know like I always tell my friends you know it's Monday blues, Sunday evening you start thinking oh my God tomorrow work. <laughs> Even though I loved my job, what I was doing, it was one of the most wonderful jobs, and I loved being in the bank all these years. I worked in Vietnam, Thailand, but. Uh, even so, it was, uh, you know, you had the stresses of uh, corporate life. But here, if you have, you know, you, you have a very tough role to do uh, on a Monday morning and you have not been able to sleep all of Sunday night because you're so stressed about a tough, tough role. But you get up, you know, you get up at five o'clock in the morning, get ready, go to the set, and you're all charged up. And you just and and you know that whole life between action and cut you you just live in the moment um, this film had very tough shoots uh, because we had very limited uh, time available to shoot okay. in certain locations yeah. so even though we got approval they said you can't do it for more than one overnight and then the budget wow. didn't allow it so we were shooting in a food court one of my most intense scenes in the films with the other in the film with the other uh, uh, one of the other lead actors and this was in a food court uh, in Singapore. A food court is where everybody gathers and there are lots of these uh, little stalls. And, yeah. and, it, and we, our schedule was 4 a.m. So we thought it would be quite, you know, not very noisy and crowded. Little did we realize that all the senior citizens from around the place come there to eat, drink their coffee <laughs> at 4 a.m. The, the people, the construction workers yeah. come there to have their <laughs> breakfast at 4 a.m. So it was chaotic and I got really stressed because I had to yeah. do a scene which was extremely uh, intense. 
okay. and the other yeah. actor as well. And then the director said, just forget all the noise around you. You just yeah, do it. In the moment, yeah. But you don't have, you can't do many, many takes because, you know, come five o'clock, six o'clock, this place is going to become chaotic. We can't control yeah. the crowd. So you just have to do it in one or two takes and it was a long take. And that stress is different. It's not. It's not your corporate stress. It just yeah. just gets you into the zone, and you yeah. do it, and it you gives feel you so like happy. a special power or something. And then, yeah, it's just yeah. somehow your soul comes alive. Your uh, and you get this. You get this thing that this is me, the character yeah. in this moment. I am Dr. Radhika Sego, and I'm here to tell my story to this guy about the you know my suicide of my daughter. And it's the first time it's being revealed in the film, and and uh, it just gives me, still gives me goosebumps to think oh. of all the chaos and the noise around me. And I was just saying, saying what I had to say. And uh, when I look at that scene in the film, I, yeah, it just always makes me smile. It's okay, thank you for this beautiful story. And um, can you tell to the people that don't know about the movie, like a little thing, where's the movie about? Can you tell? Yeah, so it's called Before Life, After Death. So if you think about the title, it's, yeah. uh, it's everything in between. <laughs> so. Um, it's a story about a pregnant teenager who is from the lower social class in Singapore, and uh, uh, she uh, and and she's having challenges with her family because uh, they're they're an Indian family yeah. who, who migrated from India, but they can't deal with the fact that uh, you know their daughter is pregnant, and the daughter is born and brought up in Singapore, so she's got a different mentality, ethos, education, so. Uh, the, the challenge there. And then there is Dr. Radhika Segal, which is what I play. Uh, she, her, her teenage daughter committed suicide three years before in the film, it's three years. And she and her husband are dealing with grief. Uh, she wants to move on and cannot, and it's impossible. And uh, so they're struggling uh, with, their, yeah. with their life. And then these two meet, the teenage, pregnant teenager and the doctor meet and how they bond, two different social classes bond together. It's about sisterhood, two women coming together. It's about, uh, of course, you know, mental health, which yeah. is her teenage daughter, teenage pregnancy, which is quite a big issue in Singapore. Yeah, it is. Um, and mental health too among teenagers. And how they come together and sisterhood. And then all the other things in Singapore, like it's the first time an Indian story yeah. has been made in Singapore. Uh, uh, story about Indians living in Singapore. In Singapore. Really? Yeah, it's wow. actually the first time a film of this yeah. uh, of this uh, scale, uh, because you have Chinese films and you mm -hmm. have Malay films, then you have the crazy rich Asians. I've seen <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is a totally different view yeah, of Singapore. It's just the beautiful it's things. It's just the beautiful thing. Everything. Yeah, which is yeah. not really Singapore has its diversity. It has social classes, it has social issues, and uh, yeah. and so this film uh, shows that, you know, people who have migrated from India, both the families have come from India, yeah. and they both have different social ethos from where they've come from. So it's, uh, so the, that's the kind of theme, and then it ends with a lot of hope. It's about dreams of this teenager, and hope that this family gives to the teenager, and they come together, and then uh, how it, it ends at a positive note. So, That's and yeah. it's it's deep, it's intense, it's deep, um, and yeah, the title suggests that before life, after death. Okay, thanks for this beautiful <laughs> story too. Um, do you have like any tips for starting actors, like tricks or tips they can use to be in a successful actor, or just start with a little role? Or Yes, I think the tips I would say, which I did for myself, is just start, just do it. Um, the second is um, you have to have patience. And I say I have patience and I know how to fast, is that you really, you know, you, you, you can't be, uh, you, you know, you won't get everything easily. So you have to True. have tremendous patience. Yeah. You have to keep working on your craft and you have to work really hard if that's the only thing that you want to do then you've got to give it your best you have to work hard um, there's no I, I tell people you've committed to theater you've committed to a shoot whatever happens with you personally whether you're sick or you're you know you haven't slept well or you have a problem in the family whatever happens you just have to be there because there is a whole lot of other people yeah. depending on you to be there at that moment and do your best so um, so that's the tip for the actors I give them that uh, I have learned this myself that 
and I love it, I enjoy it. I can sit on a set the whole day with my shoot not happening, um, but I don't get agitated. I, I just, uh, you know, I, I observe, I learn, and I, the other thing I say to actors is uh, that I, I started with uh, acting, and then I, I got interested in every aspect of filmmaking. I also became a producer. I've also directed a short film, from, you know, so I, I would love, I love to learn yeah, every, every aspect, aspect. Yeah. yeah, including marketing, financing. I'm looking forward to this panel on collaboration and, you know, yeah. how, how, because I want to be an international actor. Um, and so I've done films in Bollywood but and Singapore. So, yeah, so it's good yeah, to be just great, yeah, aware of everything. Yeah. Because if you're aware of the camera, you're aware of how the edit works, how sound works, then you can also, you know, bring that into your acting. Yeah, I think you made an incredible start from when you left the bank until now, it's just, it's just incredible, yeah. As I said, I met my first love and then I didn't want to look back. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good, yeah, it's a really good choice, I think. Um, and what do you love the most about acting? Like, is there a specific thing you love the most? And I just love studying the characters that are given to me. I love getting into their shoes. I love being somebody else, telling their story. Uh, so you give me a script and my life changes. You know, if some, even when somebody sends me something for an audition um, and I do the audition and I know that it may not work, it, you know, it, it, you send an audition and they never get back to you. But in that moment, when I get the script and I'm re getting ready for the audition, mostly they're self-test to start with. It's just my whole, you know, my whole persona becomes that, uh, that I'm focused yeah. on that character. So then you don't need things like meditation and things like that. Of course, you need to be spiritual uh, and meditative to be able to do that. But that itself is meditation. That itself is spirituality. That, and to play that character, to be honest to that character is something that I love. I try to do and I love, yeah. Thanks. Um, and are you nervous about tomorrow, about the awards show? Or are you just really excited to be there? I'm very excited. <laughs> so for me, just being nominated is, uh, you know, is a huge, huge thing. So it's a win uh, already. So I'm okay, already perfect. won, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed for tomorrow and I hope you will win this award. Yes, yeah. But thank you so much. And I really want to appreciate and give my thank you from the entire team of before life, after death, to Septimius, uh, to the team in Septimius, to you, Matthew. Thank you. For giving us this opportunity on behalf of the whole team to be here. Of course. Um, and um, on Septimius, I will thank you to be here, that you traveled the whole world to be here today, and tomorrow is just an honor to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's thank entirely you. my pleasure. Thank you. Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>